You ready for this? The Sigma 18-35 F1.8 is arguably one of the best and well-known lenses ever. Well, really beginning with the GH4, but especially on the GH5. Most of us use the Metabone Speed Booster to adapt it to the Micro Four Thirds system. And here's the great thing. Metabone's put out a firmware update that's supposed to work better with the great hybrid phase detect autofocus that's now part of the Lumix GH7. In this video, I'm going to show you if the Sigma 18-35, to the newly updated Metabone Speed Booster, and the Lumix GH7, I'm going to see if the autofocus actually works with this setup. I hope it works because it's seriously been one of the best lenses on the GH5 that I've ever used. And I would love to be able to use it with the autofocus on the GH7. Now here's how you update the Metabone Speed Booster. It has a micro USB port for firmware updates. I think the hardest part was actually finding a micro USB cable. So I've got the link to the update in the description and all you really need to do is just go and follow all of the steps that are laid out on that website. Plug the Metabones into your computer and it will give you a confirmation when it is totally finished. So I got the confirmation, as far as I know, everything is updated on the Metabone Speed Booster. Now I've done a couple videos on the channel of why the Sigma 18-35 to f1.8 is has been one of the best lenses for the GH4, GH5, even the GH6. I'm hoping now for the GH7. And why it's been one of my favorite lenses for so long. First of all, just the speed of the lens. At f1.8, it is actually a very fast crop sensor lens that's a zoom lens. A lot of times primes are gonna be a f1.8, but the fact that the zoom lens is an f1.8 is pretty incredible. But then when you combine it with the Metabone Speed Booster, I'm using the Ultra 0.71X, and that's actually gonna make it faster. It's gonna put it at an f1.3. Another great reason this is such a great lens, especially for the Micro Four Thirds system, is just the focal range. So it's a crop sensor lens, so it's an 18 to 35 millimeter, but when you combine it with the speed booster, you're getting a little bit bigger than an APS-C style crop. So technically with the 0.71X Ultra Metabone Speed Booster that I have on this one, I'm gonna get basically a 26 to 50 millimeter look with the 18 to 35 millimeter lens. So if you're doing a lot of corporate work or narrative style work, documentary style work, this is a great focal range on your Micro Four Thirds system. And then I can't emphasize this enough. I love how it's an internal zoom, how it has internal zoom components. So when you're zooming from 18 to 35, nothing's popping out at the end of the lens. I love the fact that if you have to go on a gimbal or if you have it rigged up, nothing is going to change. Everything stays in the same place. I know that's not the case, but I wish that was the case for all zoom lenses. All zoom lenses should be like this 18 to 35. So before I run any test shots, these are the autofocus settings that I'm using on the GH7. All right, so when we get into the menu, what we're gonna do is actually go down to the focus settings on here, and then we're gonna go over to continuous autofocus, and we wanna make sure that the autofocus is in mode two. Continuous autofocus works all the time. So mode two is the best setting to be in there. And then what we're gonna do is for this, I'm actually going to keep everything at zero. Speed at zero, sensitivity at zero. I'm not gonna change any of those settings because I want it to basically have the easiest processing that it can run um, when I'm trying to autofocus. And then the only other thing I wanna make sure of is make sure I have it in human detect because ultimately when it comes down to it, I wanna make sure that the autofocus is working in human detect. And I'm actually gonna be running it at the zone autofocus detection. Um, there are some options. There's the full area, you know, one area, one area. I'm gonna run it in the zone. And I wanna make sure that it's human but also that it picks up my eye, either my eye, face, or body. Now that we have all the settings, I'm gonna go out in the next couple minutes are just gonna be some test shots of the autofocus with the Sigma 18 to 35 Metabone Speed Booster, the 0.71 Ultra, and then that hybrid phase detect autofocus on the GH7. I'm really hoping it works. I'm really hoping that it works. I will see you after these test shots with some final thoughts.
Okay, I'm literally so disappointed right now. I had to step away from the video for a little bit because I was getting so frustrated watching that. But it's a new day. All right, it's a new day. I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna be behind the camera, you know, to maybe play around with some of the settings and all that. Try a couple different things to see if I can get this working. So my uh, buddy Luke is gonna sit in. I'm gonna try a different frame rate. Um, I'm gonna try the sensitivity a little bit. Change a couple things up. Oh my gosh, it's not even working. I'm gonna put it at, I'm gonna put it at 60 frames per second. We'll see, see if that helps. Okay, if I lock onto you, it just doesn't stay. All right, I'm gonna go sensitivity plus three. And I'm gonna change the zone to full area. Like, the thing that it does is like, it creates a box around you. Like it recognizes your face. It just doesn't put it in focus. Okay, I'm gonna toss the 25 to 50 on and show you how the autofocus actually is supposed to work. All right. I mean, I think the results kind of speak for themselves. I didn't think that the footage was usable at all with the autofocus. I mean, still a great manual focus option for the GH7, having that Sigma 18 to 35 on there. But I would say, personally, I will probably just go with some native mount lenses like the like a 10 to 25 and the 25 to 50. I'm just really disappointed. I was hoping that it would work. I don't know if you have the opportunity to play around with some of these settings. If you get this working with the GH7, the Metabone Speed Booster, and the Sigma 18 to 35, please let me know. If you have any recommendations, let me know down in the comments. Uh, maybe I can make a follow-up video or something like that, testing some of those different settings out. So if you have that opportunity, that would be that'd be helpful. So right over here, YouTube's tossing up a video that they think you might like. I will see you over at that video. And thanks so much for watching. See ya over there. It's not giving me anything. <laughs> oh my gosh.